What's going on guys it's your host Gamespot back with another video from past few weeks I've been updating you guys with season 8 leaks but in this video I'm going to show you all of the leaks so far till now if you're new to this channel you already know what you have to do but don't forget to hit that bell icon without any further ado let's go so let's start from the scratch it's halfway season 7 and leakers managed to get some leaks of season 8 and according to data miners the season 8 theme name is going to be spy hunt and as the season name is spy hunt we are definitely going to get some stealth looking characters in next season moving on to the next leak we got introduced to the three new weapons in the game files Krieg 6 zrg and butterfly knife Unfortunately, new assault rifle Krieg 6 is not going to be the part of season 8 because in the game files we got mythic weapon skin of Krieg 6 and you already know how Call of Duty Mobile works. In season 7 update we got mythic weapon skin of Switchblade so ultimately we are going to get Krieg 6 mythic skin on season 9. So in addition to that we are going to get new legendary character in season 8 and Krieg 6 is going to be introduced in game along with its mythic skin on season 9 update. But on season 8 update we are going to get two new weapons, the first one is ZRG 20mm sniper rifle. It has faster bullet velocity with less fire rate, one shot kill on head, stomach and torso. And along with the default version you are going to get introduced with the legendary version of this weapon as well. Furthermore we are getting new melee weapon butterfly knife as you already know with every legendary character we get secondary weapon skin. And butterfly knife is going to be the part of next season with legendary character Sophia. There will be two variants, the default version one and the legendary butterfly knife in Lucky Draw. COD Mobile never gives an update without new multiplayer maps. So for sure in next season we are going to get another new multiplayer map. Its name is Express. Express is a Los Angeles bullet train station map, good for long to medium engagements up and down the bullet train tracks. The middle part of this multiplayer map is highly engaged so you will get back to back close range fights. Every season we get tons of new characters and this season by resembling the name of theme we are getting some stealth looking characters. I'm glad COD Mobile is not introducing next season some futuristic or sharp looking characters. Most of the season 8 characters have realistic touch on their outfit. Their outfits are not sharp and they are stealth looking. Here are some of the characters taken from other COD titles which data miners managed to pull the names out from the game files. We'll be expecting some of these characters in the battle pass, some of them in crates and lucky rows. But still there are lots of characters specially designed for Call of Duty Mobile. Their models are not leaked yet so if I get any leaks related to them I'll definitely post a separate video about it so make sure to subscribe. Up next we are going to get new green perk in season 8. Its name is Spy. By using this perk you can hack enemy score streaks. We are also getting new throwable in multiplayer mode its name is going to be C4 and you already know how it works you just have to throw the explosive on the enemies and new button will appear on the screen click on it detonate it and that explosive will blast. Pretty useful for domination and hard point. Well season 7 was battle royale focused but they failed to add new battle royale class so we are getting new battle royale class in season 8 its name is going to be igniter. On using this battle royale class you can throw tar on your enemies and you can set them on fire. In a nutshell you can say it's moving molotov. You can move around your enemies and you can set them on fire at the same time. Furthermore we are getting new lucky draws and their legendary skins in season 8. Right now the models are not leaked but only names are revealed. So here are some of the draws. Kilo 1 for 1 is coming in life and death draw. ZRG is coming in devil's doorway draw. AS well double edge is coming as a redux in next season. Another PPSH skin conversion is coming in alterated reality draw. Legendary character Sophia is coming in revenger draw and at last DRH is coming in executive order draw. Furthermore here is the first look of legendary character Sophia and her entrance animation. If you follow COD Mobile comics you must know what is going on because we got lucky draws in COD Mobile related to Call of Duty Mobile comic story so Sophia is here to take revenge from Ghost because Ghost shot Templar so basically she is here to take revenge for him. So in next year we are getting legendary Sophia with legendary butterfly knife. Now let's move to the next league. This season we got new collaboration with Ghost in a Shell. But according to data miners, next season there is higher possibilities of collaboration with Girls Frontier or Incarnation. 
both of the collaborations already occurred in COD Mobile Chinese version but according to them these collaboration might happen in global version as well because they got some exclusive collab skins in the game files of global version. Even there is an exclusive collaboration character named Fandy which was spotted in the game files of global version so there are higher chances of getting another collab in next season. But if this character Fandy actually comes in global version I'm definitely going to buy her because she looks hot. All of the OG Call of Duty mobile players are waiting for for OG zombies mode and finally there are some chances of getting original zombies mode in next season because recently season 8 lobby view was leaked and here you can see zombies mode now you'll get option to select any of the zombies mode you want you can either play undead sage mode or original zombies mode but this lobby view was leaked from the chinese version so i'm not giving you 100 percent confirmation so just wait and have patience and finally, last but not the least, Season 8 Battle Pass Rewards information. We are going to get 5 characters and one character is from Ground Forces Battle Pass subscription. So the major 4 characters of next year Battle Pass are Park Double Agent, Misty Undercover Agent, CF Double Agent, Adler, The Gold Finch. And blueprint of Season 8 Battle Pass are going to be interesting this time. Finally, good weapon selection. The first is ZRG 20mm Jade. M13 Hidden Canopy, CBR4 Water Leviathan, AK47 Crash of Monster, M4 Prince of Time. And these are the two characters from the other COD title which are going to be the part of Season 8 Battle Pass. And by the way, no characters and weapon models are revealed yet because we need beta test version for that. So you have to wait few more weeks to get major leaks. So make sure to subscribe this channel and hit on that bell icon. I'm sorry previous leak was not the last leak I missed one leak so in the game files of global version leaker spotted call of duty league championship pack 2022 this league championship pack is already the part of call of duty warzone but the interesting thing is that we got all of these skins in the game files of call of duty mobile so there is another possible collaboration with call of duty mobile and league championship 2022 the skins are looking fire though the character Padmavati is inspired from India and its culture so if this actually Actually comes I mean the bundle would you like to buy it or not do let me know in the comments down below if you really watch this video till here my huge respect for you guys I really appreciate you that you watch my full video so if you're new to this channel please drop a like subscribe we are really close to 45,000 subscribers I also post Warzone mobile league so you can basically go and follow me on Instagram to watch the gameplays it's my personal Instagram account though I post my regular life pictures as well on that Instagram account so you will be able to see Warzone mobile gameplay at the highlight section and that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed peace oh.